Hi everybody, welcome back to the Mommy Archives. Today I am excited to be doing an unboxing of the Canon Rebel T5i. Ah, I've been wanting a DSLR for so long, I cannot even tell you. Before I even got it on YouTube, I was looking at DSLRs, I really wanted one, and I can never really justify the purchase, but now, now, there are several different reasons why I got this. One, I wanted higher quality video filming for YouTube. I currently use a Sony CX220 camcorder. I think it's CX220, something like that. And it records HD and all that. It's actually a pretty decent camera, but um, a DSLR will definitely be an upgrade as far as image quality goes and things of that nature. But that is not the only reason I wanted a nice camera. I love taking pictures of Kennedy, and so it's going to be so nice to be able to take some high quality photos. We take portraits of her or with our family pretty frequently throughout the year, well at least since she's been born, she's like 14 months old, but um, the uh, cost of hiring a photographer adds up when you're paying for session after session after session. I mean in her first year of life alone we did our fall family portraits, we did her Christmas portraits, we did spring family portraits, later on we took some portraits with Caleb's side of the family and yeah, those are just the things that come to mind. But when you're paying a photographer time and time and time again for those types of things, it really adds up. So by investing in a nicer camera that I hopefully can learn a little bit about and get better at, I can take nicer quality photos of Kennedy and maybe even the family eventually if I'm able to post this right and put the camera on a tripod or whatever. I mean, we'll probably still hire people at least once a year to take nicer photos of us with somebody else behind the camera but yeah overall I just think it's a good investment to have and hopefully now I don't I won't have to be paying somebody else to take Kennedy's portraits throughout the year because I can do them. Now I definitely did my research and was shopping around before I made this purchase because it is a big investment and I looked online right before I filmed this video and if you were to buy this camera is straight out of the box from Best Buy at retail. It's about $850. Right now it's on sale for $700. And so you think, wow, that's a really great deal. And what comes with it is everything I'm about to show you, plus I think they threw in like a free camera bag and a memory card. But I urge you, do not buy from Best Buy. I got a bundle on Amazon and I paid $700 and I got everything included um, for the Best Buy price plus a ton more. And some of the accessories aren't quite as high quality. I might want to turn around later and buy something a little bit nicer, but it's a really good starter kit. And if you're going to spend the same amount of money, you might as well get some extras anyway. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do the unboxing of the Canon Rebel T5i. I will show you what came in the box first because I'm sure everybody wants to see the camera and then I will get into all the accessories. Obviously in the box you have your manuals, um, one's in English, one's in Spanish. There's a couple of different discs with some software to load onto the computer to help with photos and whatnot. A couple of different other types of manuals and just the typical stuff you see when you purchase an electronics item. Then of course you also get the camera, duh. <laughs> so this is the body of the camera. What's great about the Canon T5i is that it has the flip out screen so it'd be perfect for filming. And it's also a touch screen and it just has some really, really neat features. Now you can get lower models of the Canon Rebel, I like the T3i or T4i, whatever. I chose the T5i um, not only because it's the newest version, but it has some features that say the T3i won't have, which uh, you can do like the autofocus and stuff like that. I don't know all the technology terms or anything, but I just had some upgraded features. And actually when I was researching and looking at the bundles, it was not really that much more expensive to get the T5i bundle than the T3i bundle. I think the T3i bundle was like 650 and this bundle was 700. So for 50 bucks more, you're going to get some upgraded features. And so I figured why not go ahead and have the latest model. Now if it was like, $150, $200, I probably would have gone with the lower model. And if you're going to buy it from the store right out of the package without a bundle, the T3i is probably, you know, a bigger difference or whatever. But like I said, go to Amazon. The bundles are much, much cheaper. Speaking of Amazon, I will go ahead and link down below in the description box uh, where I purchased my camera from because like I said, I'm really pleased with the bundle and I think I got a really great price. There are tons of bundles on Amazon. I looked at all sorts of sellers, but I really feel confident in the one that I purchased. Now, when I purchased mine, I think it said there was like five remaining and they may have been restocked since then. But if my exact bundle package is sold out, I will link a similar bundle. So I'll, I'll go ahead and link both of them 
in case they restock it. But look out for that in case you're interested in making this kind of purchase. Of course, you have your camera strap. Of course, it comes with a battery and your battery charger, HDMI cable, and standard with most um, T5Is that you're gonna buy right out of the box is an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. And so of course you need your lens when you're using a DSLR camera. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into the other bonus items you get as part of this bundle that I purchased. First off, you get an additional lens for free in this bundle. And this is a 75 to 300 millimeter lens I am brand new to using a DSLR once again, so I'm definitely going to have to learn how to use each of these lenses that I'm sure in the future. Hopefully I'll purchase some more lenses as I get better, but um, I'm excited to just have an extra lens because lenses are not cheap. Yeah, they can be quite the investment, so it's nice to get an additional lens on top of the one that comes with the camera itself. You also get a tripod that's packaged in here. Now, a lot of the reviews said that it's not the best tripod in the world. I currently don't have the best tripod in the world. I think it's like a $15 one from Walmart or something. So it's not like super heavy duty or anything like this, but it's a tripod. So if you don't have one to start with, um, it's nice to just have and I can always use it as a backup for my other camcorder that I'm currently using when I'm not using my DSLR if I find that this isn't sturdy enough. Also included is a camera bag and I have all of the other accessories that came with it in this. Now I'm not super familiar with camera bags but it seems to hold everything pretty well. As of right now I don't need something that I'm gonna have to lug around a lot because I'm just mainly using the camera at home. So I just needed something mainly for now that holds everything together and this will definitely do that. Alright so for the accessories you get an additional high-speed mini HDMI cable, a memory card wallet, a travel charger and I believe this is one that you can use in the car which is really nice. Yeah, it has a little AC outlet in there, so that will be perfect and definitely come in handy. There are a couple of extra lenses in here. Once again, I'm not super familiar with photography yet, so um, I'm not sure the quality of these lenses or anything, but they're free in the bundle, so hey. There is also a three-piece filter set. Two extra batteries, and these are not Canon brand, but when I bought backup batteries for my Sony camera, I just bought off-brand stuff, and I literally can't tell the difference. I can't even tell you at this point which one came with the camera and which ones didn't. So um, hopefully I'll have the same positive experience with these ones. Also included is this digital ultraviolet filter. This I'm very excited about. It is a little clicker. I don't know the term. <laughs> A remote, that's the word I'm trying to find, um, a wireless remote so that when I'm filming or taking pictures, if I'm in front of the camera, I can just click and do what I need to do. So that'll definitely come in handy. This is definitely an awesome bonus item. It's a memory card, but it's a very good memory card. It's high quality. It is an SDHC card, um, has 32 gigabytes, 30 millibytes per second. Yeah, just, I think it's a class 10 to, I forget where it says it, but... Um, I remember in the package it said it was a class 10 memory card and so this is a very high performing memory card which is awesome. They didn't just give you like a throwaway memory card, it's one that I can actually use and take advantage of. I can't remember the name of this next item but essentially it's <laughs> a little flash drive that you can plug a memory card into so if you don't have a memory card slot on a device that you're using you can just put it in here and use it like a flash drive. And then the last little item that came in the bundle is this deluxe camera starter kit and I will show you what's inside. This is of no use with the DSLR, but it might come in handy with just a little camera. It's just a little tabletop tripod type of thing. It's neat that you can like mold it or whatever, or bend it. So if once again I'm using my current camcorder and I just need a little tripod, it's kind of cute. Definitely not realistic for a DSLR though. And then there's just some cleaning items. There's a solution to clean your lenses, a little lens cloth, some Q-tips for cleaning, screen protectors, a little squeegee, just a basic little cleaning kit. So that is everything that came in my Canon T5i bundle. Once again, it was $700. I don't know if I mentioned it was free shipping and there was no tax. So it was a really great value compared to what you'll get at most retail stores. Once again, link it or a similar item or both <laughs> down in the description box if you're interested in purchasing it. 
Also, another thing you might want to do to get some money back on your purchase is go through Ebates. I will link my link down through Ebates down below. And a lot of times with Amazon, if you purchase it or if you access the Amazon website through Ebates, you get cash back. And with Amazon, it kind of ranges through different departments, like which percentage will get back. I don't remember how much it was when I purchased mine because it was on like a Black Friday special or whatever, so it was more than usual. But even if it's only like 1%, 1% 1 of $700 is $7 in your pocket. So hey, that's $7 that you didn't have before, right? So <laughs> might as well go through Ebate. So I will link that down below. Once again, I'm not a camera expert, so hopefully you didn't come here looking for like all the specs and stuff on the camera. I was more interested in just showing you what came with the actual camera if you're just to buy it by itself and what came in this bundle that I got. Once again, excellent value, highly recommend it. I cannot wait to start taking pictures and filming with this new camera. There's definitely going to be a little bit of a learning curve, so you might have to bear with me for a little bit of my channel, but we'll see how it goes. But that is everything I have for you today, guys. If you have any questions for me, please just ask them below. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the Mommy Archives and you like what you see, please click that subscribe button. You'll see new videos about motherhood and just life in general in your subscription feed every single week. But that is all I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!